Seth Rogen's Zac Efron comedy Neighbors is now playing at AMC theaters and just has a monstrous opening weekend. Neighbors became the second highest opening weekend box office for an original R-rated comedy with $51.1 million, just behind 2012's comedy Ted, which made $54 million on its opening weekend. The film also has become the biggest opening for a Seth Rogen film, far ahead of his 2011 Green Hornet, which made just over $33 million on its opening Opening weekend. Dennis, should Universal be happy with Neighbors opening weekend? Happy? They should be delighted. <laughs> I mean, they didn't expect this, and they probably thought maybe mid 30s, maybe high 30s tops, you know, with Seth Rogen's track record. And, you know, Zach Afron's not a huge, like, comedy star, but yeah, they should be so happy. It's hilarious. We reviewed it for AMC Spoilers. We yep. all really liked it. So, yeah, I think, I think. They're nothing but smiles and probably will do a sequel. If you oh, had yeah. told me or Sony or, or Universal or any studio, especially Sony and Universal, six months ago that Neighbors, this little R-rated comedy with Zac Efron, is going to open the week after Spider-Man 2, <laughs> that it would be number one at the box <laughs> office, they would have danced a jig in the streets. $51.1 million dollars for this film, right. unbelievable, and I'm super happy for it. I, I mean, really, this is, I thought this was a wonderful comedy. Zac Efron, to me, once again, I've been telling you guys, mm -hmm. I've been telling you, Zac Efron is here to stay. He's gonna be the next McConaughey that everybody says, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you just wait and see, because now directors are lining up to work with this guy, uh, and he, sh he showed it here. Rogan is at Rogan's best. He he's doing his best Rogan. Uh, in this film, all the pieces came together. Super happy for it, but I never would have expected this even a month ago. Amy Rose. Yeah, I thought it was great as well. Um, I I laughed a lot near the end. It felt a little redundant, but I still really enjoyed it. Universal should be thrilled. And I mean, we're hungry for good comedies, and this was fresh. And after Goldberg, after this is the end with Goldberg and Rogan, I knew that there would be something good since a Adam was also involved in this one as well. Right. Um, but I just thought it was really clever. I love the dynamic between Roseburn and Seth Rogen and the whole contrast between them. And Zac Efron, we've been both saying this. Yeah. He's an actor. He's a He's solid a actor. Very good actor. And he can do comedy. I liked him in that awkward moment as well. Yep. Um, so. So yeah, I, I was pleasantly surprised about this, and uh, I hope they do another one. You know what I was surprised by, fresh. too? Out of all the great films, Rogue, Rogue has done several really, really good films. Mm -hmm. That Green Hornet was his number one opening weekend box office, Woo! 33 million. Weird. Prior to this one, pretty odd to think about it. Anyway, Schnapp, your reaction to this? I'm very happy that it uh, was number one. I'm usually not a numbers guy, but I was like, hey, what? That's really impressive, $51 million, especially with the kind of the lukewarm trailers that... that that we saw, and then this movie is incredible. I gave it a 10 out of Whoa. 10. Yeah. I think it's the yeah. funniest film of the year, the best comedy that I've seen. I laughed from beginning to end and felt really good afterwards. I love this film. I can't wait to see it again, so I'm preaching about it. Go see it. It was clever. Um, you know what's really in encouraging, too, is that there was a very long period of time, understandably, that the, the prevailing thought was you gotta be very picky and selective about doing R-rated comedies because right. mm -hmm. they can't yeah. do all that good. Ted, 21 Jump Street, This is the End, and now this the are best. proving, hey, you know what? There is These box office numbers prove, a box office is not an indicator of quality. Let's get that out of right. the way really first. But what it does tell us is that the movie going on today is totally open to go into a good R-rated comedy and they can work and they can be really successful. Yeah. What did you guys give it? I'm curious. I gave it an 8.5. So 8 nice, 5. that's solid for this I was yeah. gonna say also Zac Efron. If you haven't seen The Paperboy, that's another. Mm -hmm. That's really to me was an indicator of what a great actor he is. To me, the film that everybody needs to see Zac Efron in, if you want to know if this kid can act, is one that nobody saw. It's called Me and Orson Welles. It was out like two oh, or yeah. three years ago. His performance is fantastic in it. Go check it out. Hey everyone! If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.